Hey guys, so um, we're here with GMAC, one of the long riders. It's been a fantastic day. We've been out in Newcastle, unreal weather, really, really good. The ocean was dead flat. Not that that worried us because we didn't have our jet skis with us or canoes or anything. So we're just on the bikes, but really cool just getting out. Tonight we've got a big open night here at the clubhouse. Just had a fantastic church service with, with Ez sharing a great word and had communion with over 100 blokes and, and their wives and families, which is really cool. But GMAC, can you tell me a little bit about, firstly, Tell us about the bike you ride and why. The one I rode down tonight was a FXR. Why have I rode that? Because um, you know I'm a little I'm a little bit stuck on the old school. The old school. I uh, I, I like the Evos. I like the smaller bikes. You know I, I like the handling of the FXR. I uh, I brought it two years ago and uh, it was an absolute basket case. Yep. And um, you know it took a year a year to build it to, to how. I want it mate I'm running it in I ran down the highway with um, the president of the northern chapter who's also on an FXR mate and it was good having the baggers behind us <laughs> you know uh, um, you know look it's, it's just it's just a real good style of bike and, and you know they call the Evos the old the old new school or the new old school and um, yeah it's a good bike good motor yep. it's a good run yep. yeah really good you know my favourite bike would have to be the shovel head you know yep. I, I, I love the shovels and um, always have that was, that was the year that I sort of got into Harley Davidson you know, with the shovels, and um, so I've got one of those, but it's motors out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah no, so, so it's so in pieces at the moment. It's in pieces, you know, yeah, 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 we put it together, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. A, bit like, a bit like us, eh? A bit like us, that's it, a bit like that's us. cool. Yeah. Okay, well, look, I, I never came from a family of faith. Uh, I, that we never went to church. You know, that I, all I did was, I think, year one as a five-year-old, we might have done religious uh, thing at school, which was compulsory for the first year. Yep. Never went back. It was never, it was never in our lives, in my family lives, relations lives, or anything. I never knew much about it. Um, you know, I. Now, my story has a little bit of um, jails in it, which, which is where I was first really had anything to do with, with Christianity and yep. we used to get the chaplains come into jail and um, I didn't think of it much then except it was a nice place to go and see people from other pods and, and whatever but um, when I look back at it now they were probably the first people in my life that told me I wasn't worthless you know I was always told I was worthless yep. I always felt worthless and, and, and they came into there telling us that pretty much what Kendall said tonight you know, we are loved. Yeah. So you know? what, what was the impact of that on you? Maybe hearing that for the first time or or realising that here's some people that don't know anything about your life really, but yet they are saying that you are loved and that you are valued. What Can you describe the impact of that? Look, look, I think I, unfortunately at the time I was too far entrenched in self-will. Yep. And, and, I, it was, and I didn't really notice. I didn't really I, I just thought you know maybe it worked for you guys in the suburbs yeah, but yeah. it's not going to work for me yep. you know I, I, and, and I, really ignorant I suppose it was ignorant there was arrogance yep. you know um, yeah, but, but it was where I think the seed was planted because you know through life when certain things happened Christians came into my life and were always good yep. like, like you know like, I, I, I look at life sometimes and look at things about bag of ones you know like you go somewhere and one person, you know, make makes a muck up, and yeah. then I, I I put that whole 
everyone, every every person like that on that muck up, you know, like they're all the same, you know, and I call it my bag of ones, yep. you know, and um, and and I think I think the stuff you used to hear about, I don't know, the Christian, not not Christian, just the stuff you heard about religion. Yeah. Probably now I could say more so religion than than, than loving Jesus, and um, yep. and I and I put it in a in a in a, in a basket, and I didn't want to go there, and um, you know, and and what I learnt was, you know, like if I walk into a room and uh, 99 people go, hey Grant, good to see you, and one person goes jerk. Yeah, he gets my full attention. That one person. That's yeah. that bag of one stuff. So, so you know, it, it, I, I I really I didn't know, but as I said, thing they came into my life throughout life, especially in the last 10 years before I turned my life over to Jesus. They, um, you know, I, I met I met a bloke fishing. Yeah, and and he he was a huge step into my my you know my getting my life together, my faith. Yeah, you know, he was a Christian. And he wasn't the Christian that I felt dirty sitting next to. Yeah, he yeah. was probably more grubbier than me, you know. And <laughs> yeah. and but but he had a heart after Jesus. Awesome. And 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 he he was another bloke that told me that that I'm worth it. Yeah, you know, that I'm worth it. And um, so so that start that, that's what I think when I look back and look at Christianity and look at Jesus and the people that practice the faith, you know, not just go to church on a Sunday yeah. but practice it out of church too. Yeah. have all instilled that. Yeah. I, I'm not. I'm. You know. I'm not bad. Needing to get good. I'm sick. Needing to get well. And and yeah. and, and Jesus can do that. You know. That's awesome, man. And uh, I just. I just never could walk. I could just never find where I could fit into that. Yep. You know. Interesting story um, on a shovelhead page on Facebook. Okay. And um, and there was a there was a fellow by the name of Ray that that at that, that stage was a long rider and um, and we just got banter talking about shovelheads and and um, and one night I saw on his page that he was going to Yamba for that weekend and and I and I, I messaged him and said hey mate I'm in Yamba that weekend um, why don't we face you know hook up for a coffee face to face or something yeah. he said good idea give me a ring you know and and I. I rung him and he said, oh, look, we're just about to go for dinner at the club. And um, he said, come down and have dinner with us. So, and, I, and I went down there and all, lo and behold, it was, uh, you know, 12 or 13 long rider members about, you know, just about having dinner. The funny thing about that was I was at a meeting that night and it's a, it's a drug and alcohol meeting about, you know, a, a little bit of a support group type of thing. And, um, and, I, and you know, you cut back eight years or something and I found recovery. I went to a re rehabilitation program I found recovery yep. and I started to dip my foot back into what this, this Christian bloke that 12 stepped me that, that bloke I was talking about the fisherman and um, so I, I started to go to church and I started to try and try and you know to, to do this um, stuff and you know I'm very obsessive as you can tell and um, and I, I got a t Jesus tattooed on my stomach you know and straight away like I, I said that's it you got me tattoo him you know and um, and that night I shared before I met Ray Ray that I'm, I'm laser raising it off I can't do it yep. you know because I, I was I was in and out and in and out and up and down and, and, and I just said it, it, I'm laser raising it off and I'm I'm going to do something I've got another tattoo design that a mate drew me years ago yep. you know and um, and that was just funny that was that night's meeting and then I met Ray and, and there, there you were a bunch of Christian motorcycle and you know the tattoo's still there yeah. but I haven't left a side yep. I, I was where are we going next time yep. you know what are we doing doing next that's awesome I it, I just felt right I felt good I wanted to be there and and my ears were open my eyes were open yep. for the first time ever because because I felt like I felt I got hope so a big part of you finding hope was that that feeling of being accepted was that a big was that a big part of your journey as well like hanging around some blokes you had this common interest in motorbikes yeah, yeah. you know you're sort of walking the journey, you know, like in faith, was there a sense of, you know what, probably there is a God that accepts me because if this is a representation of blokes who don't know everything about me, yet they're saying I'm worth it and saying I'm accepted. Exactly Do you right. think that, that sort of was opening, like when you think about it in that context, do you think that sort of opened some of your eyes and maybe even your spirit to really allowing God in? Yeah, yeah I do, I do. And, and, and what I know that is today is, um, 
is what we're all about. Yep. What the long riders are about. You know, um, you know. At, at first, I used to call it. And I used to say to a couple of friends that I've brought in for the journey that it's just a, it's a hospital for broken men. You know, these guys. You know, these guys know. You know, they're they're at our level. They know, or they've been there through experience. You know, they're not they're not thumping the the, the Bible. They're they're walking the walk. Or, or, or you know, and, and I did. I, I I got you know I got hope that you know look at these guys and and a lot of the stories are you know, yeah. a lot of the stories are similar or the same yeah. you know or different it doesn't matter yeah. and what it taught me is it doesn't matter yeah hey god um you know we're all we're all we're all you know children yeah. of god yeah. It, it doesn't doesn't matter about our past you know when when i when i when i turned my will and you know turned my life over to jesus and that was at a at a the wentworth national run as a supporter yep um that wasn't on the cards that day but it happened yeah. and, it happened yep and what i learned was i got up there and god saw it this big book and he says is that you Grant I says yes and he goes alright threw it away we, we start again and, yeah, and, awesome. and, and, and you know and that's that's what I got through this mob you know? I um look look I, you know I, I, I believe it's the truth that you know Jesus is the truth is the way is you know is, is the way of life is is the light of life um I, I really hope I can uh, bring people in and keep you know bring people into the fold into the walk or into the faith whichever yep. whichever way it is by the truth um you know look look you know I'm, I'm still learning I'm, I'm I'm new at this stuff and, and you know, I'm newish at this stuff and the best that you know the word you know the the best that can happen, or the worst that can happen, is I have a good life. Yeah. That's all I know. Is the worst yeah. that I can happen <laughs> by practicing the stuff. I'm going to True. have a good life. True. And the best can happen is to have eternal life. You yeah. know, and um, That's you know, and so and good. I just love what we have to offer. I, man, this weekend's been great. You know, and sun shining, and the, and everyone's out and about. And the ride today was fantastic. Like Matt started with, yeah. mate. It was just just would, did not want to be anywhere else. No, nah. would not want to be anywhere else. You know? Well, we love you, bro, and it's great to have you as part yeah, of the family. Yeah, yeah. And I know. You know, one of the great things that we all really value about long riders is a sense of brotherhood. You know, we have a, a, a I was going to say a slogan, but it's more than that. It's really at the heart of long riders, which is strength and unity. Strength and unity. So strength and unity the, is a classic example here. So um, thanks for sharing, man. Thanks for being vulnerable. Well, Pleasure, mate. Thank you. Thanks.